tonight was baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. And we are grateful how the word of the Lord continues to open the eyes of them that are blind. One scripture says, blessed are your eyes, for they see. And it's a blessing for you see, God bless you, brother, for you to see, understand God's divine word concerning you. I don't want to be going to church year in and year out until it become a ritual. So much of a ritual until I just find myself doing what everybody else is doing, going along to get along, and then when the Lord come, all my years of church going mounts up to absolutely nothing. People have forgotten that this is a heaven or hell situation. And the purpose of church have been undermined. The church is supposed to be equal to the ark that Noah built when he was living. It was for the saving of his house. And all of those that heard Noah and obeyed what Noah preached were saved or delivered from the destruction that God brought upon the earth. Jesus taught us as it was in Noah's day. So shall it be when the Son of Man comes. And in other words, just like Noah preached and people ignored it, the word of God is being preached and people are ignoring it now. But there are few, whether it's several thousands or several millions, that are not only hearing it, but have accepted and willing to obey it and walk with it. Now, let me say, uh, let me make this announcement to all of my brothers and sisters that's in Ireland, in the country of Ireland. Our minister, Taj the Evangelist, we're sending him to Dublin, Ireland at the Radisson Blue Hotel, Dublin Airport, September 4th and September 5th. September 4th, services will be at 1 p.m. Sunday, September 5th, services will be 11 a.m. and again at 4 p.m. All of the Truth of God viewers throughout the country of Ireland, Dublin, Ireland, the city of Dublin, this is your opportunity to get Bible right. You come and be a part of this service at the Radisson Blue Hotel at Dublin Airport, September 4th and September 5th. September 4th, which is Saturday, service will be at 1 o'clock. 5th, service will be at 11 a.m. and again at 4 p.m. Now, for any information regardless of this service, regarding this service, you can contact Brother Joshua at 353 3-5-3-8-9-9-5-3-2-7-2-5. Thus, you can reach Brother Joshua, 353-89-953-2725. Or you can contact Brother Nathaniel, 353-89-927-8524. 353-89-927-8524. Amen. So we hope that all of our viewers throughout Dublin, Ireland, and surrounding areas. You come on now. You be a part of that service. And God willing, give us some time. We also will be in Ireland. God have sent us to go everywhere. We can't even keep up with the pace of opening in churches compared to the amount of people that's giving up being baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. We can't even keep up because the people are hungry. And people have never seen nothing like this happen before. That so many people by the number are repenting and going down in water in the name of Jesus Christ for one reason. They want to be right with God. I don't want my church going to be in vain. And sometimes it'll make you angry to think of the years you've been going to church. 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50 years. And then find out you've been lied to all your church-going life. You've been lied to. You meant well, but you've been lied to. I know how that feels, and I know Williams know how it feels. Oh, yes. <laughs> Glory to God. Oh, yes. We both were ex-men <laughs> coming out of falsehood, but his falsehood was kind of more worse than mine. At least I believed in one God. He added two more to the one. Amen. The greatest day of your life is when your eyes come open oh, yes. and your understanding, thanks be unto God, hath been enlightened. Right. So you that are in Ireland, Ireland, you come on and walk with the word of God, go to the church website, and you also will see the same information in reference to Ireland. Also, we'll let you know when the message will be coming in person in Scotland as well as other areas. We thank God to all the brothers and sisters of the First Church of the Lord Jesus Christ in the Netherlands and in Great Britain and Birmingham, England and High Wycombe, England and Germany and the United Arab Emirates and the message is just reaching the people all over and, and uh, Dubai and throughout the continent of Africa and throughout the Caribbean as well and throughout the wicked country of America. This message is for everybody that's willing to be right and for everybody who don't want to go to hell. That's right. And I mean everybody. I don't care how tough you are. Like I often say, I come from the hood, and when you're from the hood, you got to know how to hold your hands. And I had no problems holding mine very well. <laughs> and, uh, but now I have to use the Old Testament and the New Testament to knock the devil back. That's right. <laughs> Amen. I have to knock them back now with Bible. Coming from the hood, there was two forms of boxing that we did. We slap box, we body box. When you slap box, you test your speed and whatnot. Body box, it tests your stamina. Not only did we give out punches, but we also had to know how to take them. Amen. So now we're giving out punches with the Bible. And you have to know how to take them. And uh, I strongly advise you, when the word of God hits you, don't run. That's right. Take it. It's hard. I must admit, it is hard. Because God is asking you to live a life that's totally opposite from what you're used to living and what you heard about how to live. Oh, yeah. But uh, you will benefit in the long run. That's right. Because the greatest time in your life is when you meet God. All right, let's go to work in the book of scriptures now. In the book of 2 Corinthians, if you will. <clears throat> and if there's any more here ready to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you make sure you obey it. Because you ain't never been saved since you've been born unless you have it. Not only you that are here, but you that are watching from all around the world. Remember, next week we'll be in Milwaukee, rather this week. Weekend coming, we'll be in Milwaukee at 924 East Juanita Avenue at the Astor Hotel. Saturday at 5, Sunday morning at 11, Sunday evening at 5 o'clock, 924 East Juanita Avenue. And to all my Milwaukee, Wisconsin viewers, uh, we have a local telecast there that's doing very well. Uh, service will be every week. After I leave there, you're able to come back every week now. Uh, that will be our temporary location. Until we find a permanent place for Milwaukee. Uh, until then, you'll be able to come there every week and hear the word of God preached. Cincinnati, Ohio, and I hope all my brothers and sisters here in Cleveland just, you know, drive whether it's an hour or two or three or four. Uh -huh. Amen. Over to Cleveland and hang out with me there. We'll be there in Cleveland, Ohio, or, or rather Cincinnati, Ohio, 2110 North Michael Street at the Sanctuary. That's 2110 St. Michael Street at the Sanctuary. And uh, that's the 28th and 29th. You want to be there, you don't want to miss it. Tell your mother, tell your father, tell your second wife, tell your third husband. Amen. Bring your homosexual son and bring your lesbian daughter. Amen. And drag your false prophet out the pulpit, tie him up, throw him in the trunk, and bring him to the church. Amen. You might as well get ready to come and get right with God. All of you governors and mayors and politicians, Democrats and Republicans and liberals, 
Doesn't matter who you are, if you're white as snow, black as the street, brown as cinnamon, clear as water, or yellow as a school bus. Everybody got to come and obey what God gave his apostles. That's right. He made his apostles his witnesses of these things and gave them a commandment to preach the gospel to every creature. And he plainly instructed them <clears throat> that he that believe and is baptized shall be saved. He that don't believe it shall be damned and that being damned may believe. Many of you have professed to be all kind of things and have claimed all kind of denominations. I advise you don't claim it too loud or too strong. If it's not what God is, take it, be quiet about it. Go in the little room, turn the lights out so nobody don't even see you believing in it. Find the nearest toilet, cough your belief up, and throw it up and flush it down the toilet. That's right. Glory to God. Because I tell you right now, if what you have it's not according to the word of God. It will never get you to the kingdom. That's right. How loyal you are toward how much money you give to promote it. How dedicated you have been through the years. If you help, if you're one of the original founders of that church or of that religion, they won't help you at all. It must be the exact same thing that Jesus gave his apostles. That's right. All right, listen at this now. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, we'll start reading at verse 1. No, you better begin at uh, 2 Corinthians, the third chapter, and begin at verse 1. Follow me and get me. 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and at verse 1. All right. Do we, be do we begin again to commend ourselves? Do we begin again to commend ourselves? Or need we as some others? Yeah. Epistles of commendation to you. Or Need we or some other epistle of commendation to you? Or letters of commendation from you? Yes. Ye are our epistle written in our heart. Do you hear that? Ye are our epistle written in the our apostle heart. Apostle Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, is telling the church, Ye are our epistle. Ye are our epistle. Written in our heart. Written in our heart. Known and read of all men. Knowing what? Known and read of all men. Knowing and read. What do you mean? The church is known by their works. That's right. And the word of God had to be written, engraved, engraved in the heart of man. That's right. That's why we preach it so hard and make enemies mad. You know, a hit dog will holler. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Ain't no maybe so about it. That's why you find folk all over social media hollering about this and don't like it. That's a hit dog hollering. <laughs> Amen. You hit a dog, I don't care how tough it is. It can be the toughest pit bull in the neighborhood. If that hit dog get hit by a car, <laughs> it's going to holler. That's right. Amen. So when we come with God toughness, yeah. toughness of the scripture, and that's what it is. Oh, yes. If you want a sugar daddy, preacher, you met the wrong man. I advise you to go back to the church you came from. That's right. Amen. You got these sugar daddy preachers, and they make a sugar baby congregation. <laughs> no sin this preacher gets. They are afraid to offend you. They don't want to hurt your feelings. Everything is lovey-dovey, ice cream, cake, and candy, and almost playing hopscotch in church. <laughs> That's right. Everything is so dandy and fluffy. <laughs> we come along with the word of God let you know we want to obey God come on. come on you reject God you go to hell throughout eternity and burn throughout eternity that's right there is no substitute there is no other option that's right I wish it was I wish it was too Pastor. don't you William oh yes yes I wish it was something else other than heaven to hell that's right I really wish it was this is one time one time that I wish purgatory was for real that's right. I really wish that purgatory was for real. Think of it. You're not too good for heaven. You're not too bad to go to hell. <laughs> so you're between both. That's right. Just resting on an everlasting cloud, drinking eternal pina coladas. <laughs> Chilling out, just playing eternal games all year, an eternal poker game. Right. Eternal tennis, 
eternal badminton. <laughs> Ain't nothing like that going to happen. Oh, no. Heaven or hell. That's it. That's the way it is now. Right or wrong. That's right. Obey God or reject God. That's right. Submit to the precepts of God or rebel against the precepts of God. That's right. Either you are saved according to the word of God or you never been saved at all. At all. Ain't no such thing you have saved. <laughs> no, 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 no. You ain't no half saved. No. Either you got it like the word of God says or you don't have it. Listen at this. Ye are our epistle written in our hearts. Yeah. Known and read of all men. That's what we're doing. Laboring that the word of God may be written. Written. And everybody's heart, so when the public see you, all they see is all Jesus. That's right. Huh? That's right. That's all they see. That's right. Is all Jesus. Right. How do they see God's epistle in you? For I determined not to know anything about Listen at this. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 2 says, For I determined not to know anything among you. I don't want to know. Anything, anything among you, you save Jesus, Jesus Christ and him crucified. Hold it. Paul said, I don't want to know nothing among you except Jesus and his crucifixion. That's right. Then in another place he declared that we are crucified with him. That's right. Now, I am crucified with Christ. Listen at this. In Galatians chapter 2 and at verse 20. I am crucified with Christ. But what? Nevertheless, I live. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Amen. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, yes, I, I live. Living. That's right. I'm living a crucified life. That's right. Notice it said, I'm crucified with Christ, yet I live. I live. That means I'm living a crucified life. That's right. What is a crucified life? When Jesus, I want to take this apart and break it down. Yeah. When Jesus was crucified on the cross, he was nailed That's right. to the cross. That's right. That man, it deprived the freedom of the usage of his hands. Yeah. Now, his feet couldn't walk nowhere. That's right. So Paul said, I am crucified. I am crucified. With Christ. With Christ. In the crucifixion, it had pain, That's right. hurt, agony. That's right. Until he cried out, Eli, Eli, lema sabachthani. Which meant, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? So if you crucify with Christ, your hand is being nailed with scripture. The things you used to do with the hands, the freedom, the sinful usage right. of the hands now, they are constrained That's right. with God's eternal word. That's right. The freedom usage of your feet, you used to go places you know you shouldn't go. You went to the party and dance and shake your old hips. <laughs> <laughs> Fellas would be there bumping and grinding on every girl that he can find. Yeah. That man dancing, going to the club and then go to church and say, you're a Christian. You're a hypocrite in a club going heathen. That's right. That's what you are. That, that goes for if I got anybody here. And you know you go to club, you know your party, you know you're dancing, you know you're not saved. Yeah, that's right. And if you don't know it, here I come along here now in Cleveland as your friendly neighborhood news reporter with a, with a news flash, you are a sinner. That's right. I don't care if you go to these fake churches here in Cleveland every Sunday and we're going to usher board. Yeah. You're a sinner. That's right. Are you getting the old troublemaker? I am crucified with Christ. Are you crucified this afternoon? Lord. And if you're not, you might as well come along and offer your hands and your feet so we can nail the word of God and hammer you to God's word. That's right. That's right. Why do God want to crucify people? Because there's too much activity. Hang on. Isn't it? That's right. 
And the earthly, hallelujah, activity is against God. Oh, yes. He want to nail your hands to his word. That way you can't, you don't have the freedom to lift up your cigarette. That's right. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. He want to nail your hands to the word so you don't have the freedom uh, to vape anymore. Touch not. And uh, you don't have the freedom to smoke your joint right. and snork your crack. You don't have the freedom to open up that can of beer, that Budweiser, and that Jack Daniels, and that whiskey, and that liquor. Yeah. Why? I'm crucified. Crucified. Glory right. be to God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, man. You don't have the freedom now to step in that gentleman's club oh, yeah. and look at that barbell boy, sister. Step out of that fake cake with a gold thong in his behind oh, like yeah. a fool. I am crucified with Christ. Oh, I am crucified with I'm Christ. I'm crucified now. That's right. I mean, crucified. Do you see what I'm telling you? I am crucified That's with what Christ. God Hallelujah. 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 That's what God wants. That's right. And then the churches today, they are not crucified. They are sin-loving churches. Oh, yes. Sin-loving churches. Yeah. And man, they remarry and divorce much as they please right. because the preacher don't have the hammer of the gospel right. to nail the congregation down Go to ahead. God's eternal word. That's right. Ah, I am crucified with the God. Yeah, that's why it got made me a, a hammer-hitting preacher. That's right. And I, I, I'm not tapping you with the word of God. Oh, no. You see, when you go to church, you go to the church and the preacher just tap you. Let's play, let's, let's play with you. You don't feel nothing. Nothing. And man, you don't feel nothing. Thank God that we come along and set the prophet up. Thank God and bring the word of God and drive your hands right down to the word of God. It's not my and, word. And then when you reach out the breath to that second wife and that second husband, we nail it down to scripture. That's right. I said, touch not. That's right. Handle not. Handle not. Hallelujah. Glory to God, we got to nail you down to scripture. That's right. Yeah. It's not my word. Notice the book of Jeremiah here. Jeremiah 23 and verse 29. That's why they hit, dog, they hit dogs over social media hollering. That's right. He's a cult leader. He's mean. He's angry all the time. I'm not angry. I'm a happy man. You're a happy man. <laughs> That's right. I'm a happy man. That's right. Glory to God, you just mad because you feel Go ahead, brother. the hammer of the gospel. Hallelujah. Nailing thank. Got your hands down. Hallelujah. And you are convicted now. That's right. And then you can't smoke like you used to without hearing the word of God in your mind now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can't drink like you used to. That's right. Amen. And enjoy the high buzz that it gives you. That's right. But the word of God is in your mind now. That's right. Can't go to the second wife house and enjoy the pleasure. Go ahead. Take brother. God like you used to. Hallelujah. Why? Crucified. Crucified. With Christ. Thank God. You got to be crucified with Christ. With Christ. You see, Jesus wants you to die with him. That's right. Ah. That's right. And then, hallelujah. Glory to yeah. God. He wants you to die with him. Nail your eyes shut. Go ahead. That way when you look at something, you look at it the way God wants you to look at it. That's right. And then nail what you listen to down so you can listen at those things that only God oh, plays with. That's right. Nail your mouth down to Bible. Hallelujah. So whatever come out of your mouth is in keeping with God's everlasting word. That's right. Ah! I'm crucified. I'm crucified with Christ. Are you crucified? Hallelujah. When you come to church, you got the someone say, Where you going? Where you I'm going? going to the crucifixion. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> ah! That's right. I'm going. Go ahead. All right, to God to the crucifixion. That's right. Many of you have been going to church for years, but not one of you, in most cases, have been crucified uh -huh. with Christ. With Christ. Don't you know you when you go to church, you're supposed to go there? At a time come in your life, you must experience self-crucifixion. Self-crucifixion. Why is it? Why is it now? Oh, You've been going to church for years. Oh, and you ain't never hung up That's right. with Jesus. That's right. Never felt the pain yes. of scripture. That's right. Never died. Never offered up yourself. That's right. Glory oh, to God. Just hallelujah. Go ahead. Listen, be God. You got to be crucified. And whosoever. Listen at this In now. The book of St. Luke chapter 14 and verse 20. Oh, so do not not bear his cross. Do not bear his cross. And come after me. And come after Jesus. And not be my disciple. Listen, listen at what Jesus, how he got it. And who's you got it? Yeah, yeah. 
you got to bear it. That's right. Mean you got to carry it. That's right. In other words, you're on your way up. When you hear the word of God and you agree to walk with it, right then you picked up the cross. Go ahead. Yeah, that's right, right then you picked it up. You didn't die yet. Go ahead. Bro. And you're not crucified yet. Go ahead. But now you got to bear it. Yeah, you're right. on your way up. Go ahead. Say, go ahead. Yeah. Oh, and who's on your way? Oh, you're on your way. Oh, you're on your way. Oh, God. And who's the mother? When you're in that false church, in that fake religion yeah. that men started, and then you hear God say, Be holy. Be holy. And you make it up in your mind, I'm going to repent oh, yeah. and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. And I'll seek the Lord for the Holy Ghost. That's right. right then, when you make it up in your mind, right then you start bearing it off. You ain't nailed to it yet. That's right. You just carry it. That's right. On your way up. That's it. Thank God to hear a gospel. Mm. Then nail your hands. That's right. Amen. And when you nail your hands, it can find you. Yeah. And that way you can't do what you used to do. That's right. Nail your feet. It can find you. Yeah. Can't go where you used to go. That's right. Can't go to the word of God. Come pierce you. Mm. Give you pain. That's right. You know when you obey God, it hurts. Oh yes. Family members may turn on you. Yeah. Loved ones may turn on you. Hallelujah. That's right. It hurts. That's it, big God, but it's worth the pain. And whosoever did. And, and you got to say like Jesus said, yeah. not my will. Yes. Oh, say God, hallelujah. Let thine will be done. That's right. Thank God. Amen. I may be a preacher of righteousness, yeah. and, uh, and I'm crucified with them now. Oh, yeah. And it's hurting. Oh, yeah. Thank God, but the hurt is worthwhile. That's, right. That's what it, it has me thundering. The word of God, Moreover, That's right. Thank God to preach it to the world oh, yeah. that they may suffer this crucifixion. That's right. So, viewers, you've been going to church and you that are here. But have you been crucified, crucified with Christ with yet? Christ. No, many are not crucified with Christ. That's right. That's why you freely divorce and remarry. That's right. You ain't crucified yet. No. That's why you live together, not married. You ain't crucified. Hallelujah. You ain't crucified yet. That's right. Amen. That's why you're a lesbian and a homosexual. Yeah. You ain't crucified yet. That's right. That's why you're preachers and an alcohol anonymous. Yeah. You ain't crucified yet. Amen. That's why you're a black bigot and a white bigot. That's right. Because you ain't crucified yet. That's right. That's why you got women preachers, women pastors, women elders. You're not crucified yet. That's right. When you crucify, you offer up your body. Yeah. Thank God as a sacrifice. That's right. That's right. Right. Oh, right. God, acceptable God. unto God. That's right. Which is your reasonable yes, service. Sir. Amen. When you find that young so-called Christian man and that young so-called Christian sister going to the prom and a half-naked gown showing her cleavage back all out, dancing all night, and they claim they're Christian. Oh, Christian. You ain't no Christian. You ain't crucified. That's right. You see, when you crucify, your prom is nailed down. Oh, yeah. Can't go there. Yet. Amen. You, know, you can't, you're not wearing pants no more. That's right. Amen. Can't go there. That's right. Woman not wearing pants. A man ain't out here wearing shorts. That's right. Half naked, revealing his naked go flesh ahead. in the public. That's right. When you crucify, it right. nails down your pride. Go ahead. No more makeup and jewelry looking like Jezebel. That's right. And man, you're afraid a woman will pray with her head covered. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Why? Crucified with Christ. Crucified now. Crucified. And man that go back home and take a sledgehammer and knock the bar down in his house. That's right. And get rid of all his six packs of beer. That's right. Throw them outside. That's right. What? I am crucified with Christ. Crucified. Okay. Amen. Until this transition take place in your life. Go ahead. You ain't crucified. Oh, no. That's why you're still kicking. That's right. You're still living. Still living. Thank God he hears the word of God come to bring biblical crucifixion. That's right. That's why you had the churches with a so-called Christian comedy club. Yeah. They ain't crucified. No. Raffle tickets in the church. That's right. They ain't crucified. That's right. When you crucify, pain is being brought. Oh, and yeah. there's nothing that come in that church that bring pain like God everlasting word. That's right. Give me the book of Jeremiah and hear what yeah. kind of pain God brings and said how the word of God is. Jeremiah 23 and verse 29. Tell you what. It's not my word like as a fire. God talking. It's not my word. It's not my word. Like as a fire. Oh, and thank God. Oh, yeah. You know, fire makes you hurt. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I don't care how tough you are. You let someone, they let that tough, that tough person. 
So I'm gonna throw gasoline on him and throw a match on him. <laughs> you ain't tough then. That's right. Oh uh, man, I don't care if his voice heavier than mine. He gonna scream louder than a woman. Yes, he will. He gonna be all on the ground, waddling and hollering <laughs> and making his voice gonna go to levels he never thought he had. That's right. Why? The fire wow. bring pain. That's right. God told Jeremiah, I make the people wood and by and word fire, wow. and it shall devour them. That's right. That's why the preachers over social media they're hollering because the word got them hurting. Hurting. They ain't pain because they can't bring their false teaching now That's like right. they used to comfortable because the truth of God is shining a light on them That's right. and exposing them as hypocrites. False prophets and liars. It's not that my word. Full child of hell. That's right. Watch it. It's not my word. Whose word? My word. Uh, you get mad at Gino Jennings, but it ain't my word. My word. You would like to blame me, but I didn't write this. That's right. And if I could write it, I wouldn't write it. That's right. Uh, it's not what? my word. It's not my word. Like as a fire said like the Lord. Fire said the Lord. And like a hammer. It's like what? Like a hammer. What does it do? That breaketh the rock in pieces. You see, you're hard headed. Yeah. You're stubborn. Right. And we come with the word of God that crack you over that stubborn way of thinking. That's right. You don't want to give up that second wife. You come along with a lie in your mouth while your first wife and first husband are living and said, God put us together. <laughs> God gave me my second wife. That's what your bishop said. Say. God told me to get a second wife, you old adulterous liar. That's right. You the liar out of hell. That's right. Don't you hear what the Bible said? It's not my word like it's a fire said. And then we come along and burn down the adulterous relationship. That's we right. set the whole pulpits on fire. That's right. And then burn the church down. That's right. Burn it up. The Holy Ghost said what? It's not my word like it's a fire. It's not my word like it's a fire. I don't care if you're here. If you're here this afternoon in Cleveland, you and your second wife. Yes. And man, when you go back home driving in your car or if you're riding on a horse and buggy. That's right. And man, we're going to set it on fire. On fire. Yeah. It's not. We're going to set it on fire so until she going to look at him and he going to look at her. Right. Going to feel uncomfortable because they riding back in that adulterous car. Yes. Going back in that adulterous house. That's right. Signing those adulterous shits. Go ahead. Paying that adulterous bill. That's right. And got an adulterous mortgage. That's right. Hey! It's not my word. It's not my word. Like it's a fire, saith the Lord. Fire. Say it the Lord. Fire! Fire! Oh, it's, like a it's like fire! Fire! Say it the Lord! God say it the Lord! And like a hammer! Like a hammer! That breaketh the rock in pieces! Break the rock in pieces on there! We, we, the word of God come and set you on fire and you run. run! And when you run, you think you're getting away, you run right into a hammer! That's right! Yeah. That's right! You run from fire burning on one end, and when you run down here, a hammer is waiting on you! That's right! You might as well get ready to give up! Grandma, grandpa, young man, old man, oh, yes. middle-aged man, I don't care how young or how old, how cute you think you are, how much money you have, I don't care. That's right. The Bible says, nigga, you came into the world, nigga, you shall return, you don't own nothing. That's right. Amen. You might as well get ready to give your mind, your life, your body over to God and let God Kneeling to the Bible. In the book of Ezekiel chapter 22. Ah, the Holy Ghost said. In Ezekiel 22 and verse 22. Ezekiel 22, 22. As silver is melted in the midst of as the furnace. Silver. Oh, repeat that God is melted. In the midst of the furnace. In the midst of the furnace. So shall ye be melted. So shall ye be melted. In the midst thereof. Amen. We come along with God word to melt you. Melt you. The preachers are melting too, brother. Oh, yeah. They're melting. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Their members are melting and sliding right out of the church. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We have a gospel that light the world on fire. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank Hallelujah. God. I thank God for the power of the gospel. That's right. How regardless of what city, what state, what town, what village, what country, oh, yeah. this thing, bless God, is so strong, so sound, so firm. Oh, yes. It melts the kernel mind. That's right. Melt that stubborn man and melt that stubborn woman. That's right. Make them give up their position as an elder. That's right. Make them give up their position as a bishop. Go ahead, Make brother. them turn and be deacon license. Make the woman pray to get out the pulpit and repent for lying on God, saying God called her That's right. and send her to preach the gospel. You the liar. He's a liar. Amen. When the hammer of the gospel get to you, yeah. it'll crush your license okay. and crush your church. Go ahead. Crush your congregation. Go ahead. Oh. It's not my word like it's a fire. It's not my word. As a fire, saith the Lord. Is that, is that, is that what? Like as a fire, saith like the Lord. Like fire. 
Oh, Who yeah. said it? Say it's the Lord. Not Gino Jenny. Say it's the Lord. Glory to God, say it's the Lord. And like a hammer. And like a hammer. That breaketh the rock in pieces. Now everybody today go to some old wicked hell deserving church. Oh yeah. And most of you not sitting in some church on your way to church or came back from church, having given no thought whether your religion practice, your religious beliefs, whether it was started by some man That's or right. is God what you profess. That's right. We had one in the world by God permission to take your religion and compare it to the word of God. Yes. See, is God what you claim you are? That's right. I'm not asking too much. That's you right. bragging that you're God's sons and God's daughter. Well, God is our heavenly father. Yes, he is. Shouldn't you be what the eternal father is? And the Lord spake unto Moses. Let's see said. what the everlasting father is. In Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 1. Leviticus 19 and 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying. Oh, said it. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying. Not Geno Jennings. The Lord spake. Not Geno Jennings. The Lord you, spake. You, you wanted to be Geno Jennings church there because that'll kind of make you feel better. No, 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 no. No, no. Amen. Somebody logged on last night and said, I just logged on your website just to say you're a false prophet. What do you think about it? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I don't think nothing of it. That's right. At least you logged on and you heard it. You don't like it, but you heard it. That's right. What was that? That was a hit dog hollering. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Holler. That means you can get mad at you. Please call me whatever you like. Whatever you Thank like. God. But when you come back, I'll be coming back for round two to hit you again. And Hit you again with God everlasting word. That's right. Amen. You know in the hood, when they throw a flare on you, go in the shell. Yeah. Amen. And sometimes you can cover up. Yes. But my God, when the prophets and the apostles started coming down on you, you ain't got no shell. No, no. Yeah. You don't have my dirty I, 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 I don't care how you hide, how you try to go. The word of God hits you. That's right. Until it catch you while you sleep. That's right. Go right in your vision of the night. That's right. Can't get away from, get away from it. it. Oh, thank God they can't get away from it. That's right. What did he say, son? My doctrine shall drop as the rain. Listen at this. In Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 2. You don't have no shell to protect yourself from this message. No, no. God says in Deuteronomy chapter 32 and 32 verse 2. 32 and verse 32. We'll start at verse 1. All right. Give ear, O ye heaven. Give ear. Oh, thank God, O heaven. And I will speak. God tell me to. And hear, O earth. Hear the, earth. the words of my mouth. The words of my mouth. My doctrine wait, shall. Wait, 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 wait. Who doctrine is it? My doctrine. Not Pastor Jennings. That's right. Ah, you folk right me and get mad at me. What you get mad at me for? <laughs> That's right. Why are you getting mad at me? That's right. Here's the mailman brought you a light bill for five thousand dollars. <laughs> you need to cuss him out. Amen. You need to cuss him out and chase him down the street. That's right. He just brought you the light bill. That's it. He didn't make the light bill. That's right. Why are you getting mad at me? Amen. I didn't write the Bible. Amen. Amen. We have got my bag of letters, and I'm just your friendly neighborhood mailman. That's it. And I've come to bring you the letter of scripture. That's right. Listen to what it says. My doctrine shall drop as the God rain. talking. My doctrine. Glory be to God. Glory Hallelujah. be to God. My doctrine. My teaching shall drop as the rain. It's going to drop out as the rain. That's why you hear me say over there, I'm going to soak you. That's right. Now I'm going to soak you because the stuff going to fall like the rain. My speech, and my speech shall distill as the dew. God going to make sure you get all covered. As the small it's rain. It's going to come down on you as rain. That's and right. it's going to cover you like dew, oh, dew until you can't get away from it. That's right. Over there, God, that's why I hear people, amen, they're, they're just logging on from all over, yeah. putting their requests from one foreign country to another foreign country, please, wonderful, wonderful. send somebody here to baptize me, we got several response, several response, and it's picking up out of Japan, please come, baptize us here, Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ, in the all Arab country, mm -hmm. crying for baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, throughout Europe, baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, throughout Africa, wonderful. want the baptism, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus Christ, it's not Pastor Jennings, no. it is God's word. That's right. That's having the international effect That's right. upon the world. That's right. Glory to God, these are the last days. Oh, yes. And without question, this is the message for the last days. Oh, yes. All right. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My doctrine. My doctrine. Blessed be God, how sweet it sounds. Amen. My, my doctrine my shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill my as the dew. shall distill as the dew. As the small rain and upon God the tender earth. As the small rain upon the tender earth. As the showers upon the grass. And as the shower upon what? Upon the grass. So God wants you to be crucified, viewers. Crucified. And you that are here, he wants your hands nailed, feet nailed. He wants your whole body hang up. 
That's right. Hanged up on scripture. Amen. And when it's nailed, that means the power of the gospel, the toughness of the gospel, the roughness of the gospel got you nailed to God's will. That's right. And believe me, you're going to be hurting because you're going to try to pull those scriptures loose <laughs> because you want to do what you want to do. Oh, yeah. Amen. Thank God. But then when you find, amen, how it will do you good oh, yes. to obey God, you give in to the pain. Amen. And sometime in the midst of that hurt, you'll find yourself feeling the same way the Son of God felt. Amen. When he said, my God, my God, my ass not forsaken me, that means the flesh and blood body that God was in, the body was an example to leave us in a pattern of good works. The body felt as though that the spirit left it or the spirit wasn't with it because of the suffering that it was enduring. That's right. And that's exactly the way you would feel. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you feel like God is nowhere around. Oh, yeah. Amen. But my God, it is God that's keeping you while you're going through the suffering. That's right. Ah, that's right. What did he say? I am, back in Galatians chapter 2 and verse 20. I, uh, I am crucified with Christ. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. I live. Yet not I. Yet not I. But Christ liveth in me. Wait a minute. Who's helping me to do this? Yet yet not I. Yet not I. But Christ liveth in me. Who's helping me to do this? Christ. Yet not I. Yet not I. But Christ. That liveth in me. Christ. That live in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh. And the life that my flesh is living. I live by the faith of the Son of God. I live by the faith mm. of the Son of God. Or I live by my belief That's right. in Jesus Christ. Who loved me. Who loved me. Who loved me. Loved me. And gave himself and for me. died for me. I do not frustrate the grace of God. Did you hear this? Amen. So that's how we're able to do it. Our belief, our faith in the Son of God. We believe that the Son of God walked here on earth because God manifested in the flesh. God formed the body, then took on the body that he made, and God was in that body. And the body consists of flesh and blood that was God's son or God's servant or the mediator. It wasn't two God. It was two natures. That's right. The outer nature was flesh and blood, and the inner nature was the eternal spirit, which is God himself. That's right. Like the outer nature is the body of Christ, the church. But what's in the church is the spirit of God. Which that's is the Holy Ghost that caused the church to function. That's right. And, and the life which I no, now live in the flesh. God, the life which I now live in the flesh. That we live in the flesh. I live by the faith of the Son of God. All right, let's go back to where we were. Third uh, Second chapter, Corinthians, of chapter Second three. Corinthians. And at verse 2. Listen at this. Ye are our epistle written in our hearts. We are. Ye are the epistle written in the heart. Known and read of all men. That's right. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ. Yes. Ministered by us. Ministered by us. Written not with ink. It wasn't written with ink. But with the spirit of the living God. Ah. Uh, that's what we're doing with God. To help traveling around yes, right. the world with God's spirit writing. That's right. Writing with right. God's spirit. That's right. To get this thing in your heart. To get you on the right path. In the book of Jeremiah chapter 31. Says what? And we're at verse 33. Uh, but this shall be the You know when you want to be right, you will come out of that religion you're in. Yes, you will. When you want to be right, no man-made religion will be able to hold you. That's None. right. None. None. Doesn't matter how long you've been in it, how you patronize it. If your mother's still there, if your father's still there, or if your wife or husband's still there and don't want to come out, then I advise you to do like the Apostle Peter preaching on the day of Pentecost. Save, save yourself. Save yourself. Save Save yourself from this untoward generation, which means save yourself from this generation that's going to hell. That's right. Uh -huh. Jeremiah 31 and verse 33. Jeremiah what? Chapter 31 and verse 33. That's right. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. This shall be the pact, the agreement that I will make with Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, what happened? I will put my law. I will put my law in their inward parts. In their inward parts. And write it in their hearts. You know, you know, when the commandment was written on the stone. Yeah. Now here come God with his word. He want to put it where? And write it in their hearts. He want to put it where? And I will put my law in their inward part. He want it on their inward part. The inward part. Inward part. In other words, you have to get God's precepts, mm -hmm. God's order. God commandments, God's law, right. God's statute, God instructions got to be located where? In their inward parts. In order for it to get in your inward part, you got to have a preacher that's handled a book of scripture, which is the precepts of God, and know how to put it on the inside. <laughs> that's right. 
That's right. Huh? That's right. You have to know how to put it on the inside. Amen. In other words, you got to form open heart surgery. Yes. Open you up. That's Thank right. God and place God's word in there that your body may live by the precepts of the heavenly Father. That's right. And After those days, saith the Lord, and what? I will put my law in their inward part and, and write it in their hearts what else? and will be their God. And what? And will be their God. And will be their God. And they shall be my people. He didn't say I'll be your G-O-D-S. And will be their G-O-D. I'll be their, your, your, their God. One. One. All of you that got gods. <laughs> no, no, not that you, you, you just, you just lost. That's you're right. confused. Yeah. You're, you're just confused. God knows. That's right. Amen. Somebody wrote me and said that, uh, God have a father. God, God. have a father. Lord. You're an idiot. That's an idiot. That's a supreme fool. That's right. God, God. you're not just a fool. You're an ultimate supreme fool. And Malachi chapter 2 and verse 10. God have a father. God. God. God ain't never told you that, you heathen. No, never you're did. You're a bunch of heathens. That's right. You're a bunch of social media heathens. That's right. You hear what, this, hear what the word of God says? Malachi chapter 2 and verse 10. Oh, yes. Have we not all one father? Wait a minute. Have we not all one father? And what else? Has not one God created us? That same one God is the one father. That's right. That's it. You're so blind, you're so deceived of the devil. You know, the devil come out with a lot of revelations. <laughs> yes, he will. Not from scripture. No. But from hell. That's right. God have a father. Then he went on to say, God didn't create nothing. God didn't create nothing? My Lord. Genesis 1-1. One, one. Genesis 1-1. One, one. In the beginning. Genesis 1-1. One, one. Genesis Follow me in your Bible, you social media heathens. Heathens, 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 that got your pastor, your mama is a heathen, <laughs> your wife is a heathen, yes, I say your mama, your mama, you don't like it, your mama and your daddy are heathen, that's right, and your sons and daughters, that's right, your bunch of heathens, your bunch pastor, your bishop, your elder, yes. including you, that's right, your bunch of social media heathens, amen, you hear what the Bible says, Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1, that's right. in the beginning, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, hold on up, God created the heaven and the earth, and Malachi said what, it, has we not all one father, what did he do, has not one God created us, you're so foolish, that's a fool, you're so blind, that's what? why, viewers, 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 you leave these social media pulpit crackpots alone. That's right. Because with the stuff they with the stuff they believe, they must be vaping. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. They must be vaping with they the stuff be. that they believe. Amen. God is not the Father. God, you know, this is devil's teaching. Yes, it is. Because the devil been trying to discredit God from being God since the devil was made. That's right. And the devil has sent countless of men. Black, white, brown, yellow, red of every ethnic group in the world. And the devil tries hard to discredit God because even the devil knows some Bible carrying sucker going to believe it. Yes, he will. They going to believe it? That's right. The word of God says what? Have we not all one father? Have we not all one father? Has not Have one not God one created God us? Created us. Created all right, let's go back to the book of Corinthians now. Back in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, we're at verse 3. All of it quickly. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, yeah. ministered by us, uh -huh. written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, yeah. not in tables of stone, not in tables of stone, but in fleshy tables of the Heart. We want to put it in your heart, eh? and such trust have we through Christ to God. Yeah, not that we are sufficient of ourselves, but what? to think anything as of ourselves. You hear the Apostle Paul? That's right. Apostle Paul said, "I don't think anything of myself." That's right. Until the Apostle said, "Let no man think no higher than he ought to think, but thinks soberly." But our sufficiency is of God. Our sufficiency is who? Is of God. Paul let you know he wasn't doing this thing on his own. Oh no. No, his sufficiency was not of himself. That's right. His sufficiency relied on God. That's and right. ours is the same way. Oh, yes. Amen. Church and viewers and sinners and everything else. 
Our sufficiency is not of Pastor Jennings. No way. Our sufficiency is of it's God and Jesus Christ is he. That's right. And who also has made us able ministers. What? Who also has made us able ministers of the New Testament. You gotta be an able minister. An able minister. And when you're an able minister, you're able to lay in scripture. I believe scripture. That's it. I don't want to hear nobody opinion about nothing. I don't respect your opinion about scripture. No. Many people write me sometimes, they write me letters too long to read. <laughs> It's Five, right. six, seven, eight. One man wrote me and made a small magazine of about 60 or 70 something pages. My Lord. Fighting me about the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord. A whole magazine took its time and wasted its energy. <laughs> and the title was Why Pastor Jennings is a Liar. Mm. For preaching, you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. My Lord. Took his time, wrapped it up typed it up, had it printed or did it himself, and amen, paid for his postage and sent it to me, and the title was, Why is Pastor Jennings a Liar mm. for Preaching a Baptism in the Name of Jesus Christ? When I saw the title, I took all his hard work and <laughs> threw it in the trash. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. That's it. I just took all his hard work and threw it in the trash. That's right. If you haven't repented of your sins and been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, I don't care if you claim to be an apostle or prophet or bishop or elder or evangelist or yeah. pastor, or whatever. Whatever. Or a mother in a church or all some hypocrite in church choir. That's right. You have not repented of your sins and went down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ, you're not saved. No, no. If you bow your head and raise your hands, you're not saved. You're still an old sinner. That's right. If you went to some fake church and prayed a sinner's prayer, no such prayers in the Bible. You're still a sinner. That's right. Who? You. That's right. Your grandmama is a sinner. Your snap happy grandpappy. <laughs> your pastor. That's right. Is a sinner. If you are preaching a poor pig, get out of it. Oh, yeah. Because you're still in your sin. That's right. Because the Bible says repent and be baptized every one of you. Amen. This is what everybody got to do. Cleveland, Cleveland, right. Cleveland. And you can attach the entire state of Ohio, all the Midwest, all the East Coast, the entire country of America, and bring the rest of the world and link it on down to them. In the Florida. That's right. The Holy Ghost has. Then Peter said unto them, repent. All right, all right. You, you, you that are here. Mm -hmm. Are you born again? Well, Pastor Jen, I accept Christ as my personal Savior. That's nice. I didn't ask you that. I asked you, are you born again? That's right. Well, that's how I got born again. According to who? According to who? Well, I thought I was saved. You, you thought it wrong. That's right. The way you accept Christ, you accept his teaching. That's it. Not getting up and tell some lying Jerry Hurl preacher, oh, I accept Christ as my personal Savior. He don't, I don't mean nothing. No. You're not a Christian. You're not saved. No. Well, I go to church every Sunday, so do roaches. That's right. You don't have a same roach there. Amen. Am I right, I said? Amen. Glory to God. Acts 2 and verse 38. Listen at this. Then yeah. Your salvation got to be right where he's about to read. That's right. You better give me John chapter 3 first. John chapter 3, we'll start at verse 1. Now, begin at verse 1. I want you to follow me and get me in heaven. All of you that are watching and listening, amen, I want to call your attention again. Everybody in the world. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. Every pastor, every bishop, every would-be preacher, every man or woman on the planet. The way you're born again, the way you're saved, the way you got the new birth. I have to come along here in scripture now. That's right. Listen at this. J. St. John chapter 3, we're at verse 1. Look at here. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. Uh -huh. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. We know that thou art a teacher come from God, and For no man can do the things that you do unless God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, I know except a man be born again. Here it is. Amen. Except a man be born how? Except a man be born again. Hold it. Again. Again. You was born the first time. That's right. What you mean? Your natural birth. Right. Came from your mother's womb. Her water broke. That's right. And a little wicked fella come out. And began to grow up and know right from wrong and chose wrong over right. That's right. And he came out born in his sin. That's it. Shaped in iniquity. Born in darkness. That's right. 
innocent but born in darkness. That's right. And they grow up manifesting the wicked nature that he had. Amen. Amen. That's why you partied and drank. You was wicked in your mother's womb. Yeah. You just couldn't act it out. That's right. So your mother acted out for you. That's right. That's why she drank while she carried you. Yeah. Seven months pregnant, she's still out there trying to dance. Oh, yes. Shaking her big belly. That's right. Shaking her head, old curls falling out, yeah. or somebody else's hair on her head got twisted because the bobby pins came loose. That's right. Huh? Amen. Wicked mama carrying a child because some woman lay with a wicked man mm. and he discharged his wicked seed. Yeah. Amen. So the whole family is wicked until right. they accept the righteousness of God. That's right. It doesn't matter how harsh it sounds or how bitter it sounds, it's the truth. Amen. You're either wicked or you're righteous. That's it. One of the two. That's right. Do you hear this? Except a man be born again. Are you born again? Born again. How are you born again, viewers, 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 and you that are here? How are you born again? Amen. Did you accept Christ as your personal Savior like you thought? You're not born again. You went to some church and a liar stood up and said, anybody want a church home? I open the church doors and give you a home and you come up while the choir is singing for you. I am praying you for all oh, that. That really worked on your heart. That works on your heart. That works on your heart. You start crying. Your fake eyelashes about three inches long got disconnected from your eyes. <laughs> That's right. Huh? That's right. I mean, looking like particles of a mop hanging from your eyes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Quiet, get this singing for you. You and your third husband come up. Yeah. <laughs> for you. I'm praying. And then the preacher said, I'll open the church doors and give you a home. And he tell you, you can confess with your mouth the Lord That's Jesus that he rose from the dead. And you are saved. That's what they and say. you say, I believe that Jesus Christ died and rose from the dead. I believe he's the son of God. And then the preacher said, you're saved now. You're saved. And you walk, go back to your seat, smiling and crying with your mascara running down your face. And your lipstick is all smudged, gripping tightly the hand of your third husband. That's right. You no more saved than a duck can smoke crack. And have relationships with the chicken and birth little puppies. <laughs> Amen. You ain't saved at all. At all. You've been lied to, I said. That's right. Order in the church. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Do you hear what it says? Family, family, I say unto thee. God talking. Except the man be born again. You gotta be born again. He cannot see the kingdom of God. Now look at Jesus gonna make it more plain and detail it more. St. John chapter 3 and at verse, well, we're still at verse 4. Be quick. Nicodemus says unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Nicodemus represents everybody. That's right. What you mean? Lack of understanding. Full of education. That's right. But because the Lord brought him something spiritual, his education couldn't help him. He couldn't grasp it. Amen. He was so carnal and looking at things in a carnal perspective. Mm -hmm. He actually thought, look, just, I just want you to pay attention to the man's question. How can a man be How born? How can a man be born? When he is old. What? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? That's really dumb. <laughs> Amen. I don't care how you look at it. That's ignorant. That, that's ignorant. Now, you know good and well, Jesus was not telling a grown man. That's right. You got to clam back in your mother's womb. That's right. Can you imagine that? Imagine that. <laughs> Can you imagine that? For us to be born again. Here we are grown, full grown. And we got to say, Mama, look, I'm ready to be born again. Mama. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. And he, 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 the whole neighborhood wanted to be born again. <laughs> Mama, I want to be born again. Amen. She was like, what? That's right. Oh, Lord, help me. Here go Mama. Sit down. Come on. My Lord. <laughs> Come on. My Lord. You see how blind Nicodemus was? That's right. I want you to look at the man's question. How can a man be born how when he is old? How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second and time? Go back the second go round into his mother's womb and be born. You see how blind he was? Blind. That's he right. was educated. That's right. But he couldn't get the things of God. That's right. Until the Bible said the things of God no man know but the Spirit of God. Amen. And Jesus answered verily, verily, I say unto truly, truly, I say to you. Except a man be born of water. Now he's breaking it down. That's right. 
He told you to be born again. Born again. Now he's going to break it down and tell you what being born again consists of. Except a man be born of water. You got to have water. And of the spirit. And now you got to have spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Oh, what else did he say? That which is born of the flesh is flesh. Oh, that's talking about your first birth. That's right. When you're born of the flesh, that's flesh. That's your first birth. But now. And that which is born of the spirit. You're born of the spirit. Is spirit. Is spirit. Marvel that's, not that's that I the, said that's unto spiritual thee. birth. So Jesus said, don't be surprised at what I'm telling you. You must be born again. You don't have to do it. You must be born again. Nah, you don't have to do it. You must be born again. And Jesus said you must do something. You got to do it. That's right. Now, let's see what is being born again of the water. Of the water. Listen at this. Acts chapter 2 and at verse 38. All right. Then Peter said unto them, repent. It's not the time to get nailed down now. Oh, yeah. Time to get nailed down now. That's right. You want to bear the cross, you got to pick this scripture up. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Glory to God, if you want to bear the cross, you got to pick this scripture up right here. Then Peter said unto them, repent. What is repentance? Repentance is when you're sorry about your sins. Mm -hmm. Sorry about your wrong. And you truly go before God with a broken, contrite heart, asking God to forgive you for your sins because you're sorry about it. That's right. You are convicted. That's right. And you repent for them. That's right. All the wrong you ever done, you repent for them. Repent. And you're ready to make a change. That's right. He ain't never told nobody, bow your head, raise your hand. No. Accept Christ as your personal savior. You look at some liar on television or on YouTube or some form of social media, TikTok or whatever it is. <laughs> and right. look at some blind devil to see liar oh, hey, and tell God. you you that are watching me now touch the screen and let God come in your heart yeah. and repeat after me say Lord Jesus I'm a sinner wash me white as snow come into my heart and then the preacher say if you done that and you said this you're saved my friend you're no more saved than you are related to Gabriel that's right and if you done it it ain't none of you saved that's right now, now get mad now get mad much as you please but it won't change the fact you're still a sinner. Still a sinner. I'm pipe smoking, cigar sucking, joint sucking, crack snorking, beer drinking, party clubbing, dancer sinner. That's you right. ain't never been saved since you fell from your mother's womb. That's right. You ain't been saved since your mother pushed you out. Go ahead. Ah! Then Peter said, I'm back the Bible. Repent. You got to repent to have this right. That's right. And what? And be baptized. How much? Every one of you. How much of Ohio? Every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. You gotta repent of your sins. You gotta be sorry about your sins. And then your mother, your father, your sister, and brother, and you. Yes. You can't send your children to be baptized. No. Because the children gotta repent too. That's right. And if they don't know what repentance is, then uh, don't bother them. Don't bother them. Amen. The Bible says, whosoever will, let them, let them come. They got to understand what it is. That's right. How can you repent if you don't even know what it is? Right. Repentance is when you convict in your heart. And then you're ready to make a change because of the wrong that you've done. That's right. Repent and be baptized. Repent. 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 Woman, you know you got somebody else's husband. Repent. And you married him. That's right. You better repent for that adulterous relationship. Repent. Mister, you know you got a third, you got a third wife. That's right. You know your wife is still living. Yeah. Mrs. White is still living. That's right. You and Miss White broke up, and now you got a uh, wife number two, mm -hmm. who used to be Miss Carmichael. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That didn't work out. You went to wife number three. That's right. Amen. Miss Clark. <laughs> that didn't work out. Now you're working on wife number four. Yeah. Miss Lucifer. <laughs> That's right. You got to repent. Repent. I want to say, well, Pastor, get into church that I ain't been. They allow it. Oh, I just know they do. <laughs> That's right. I know they do. That's why you don't want to be crucified with them. That's right. Huh? You don't want you don't want to be crucified. All churches that condone this trash, there ain't none of you crucified with Jesus. No. That's why you freely party, freely dance, freely smoke, freely exchange wine, the pulpit, all the Doctrine, yes. several wives and several husbands living together, not married. Ain't nobody, nobody crucified with Jesus. That's right. Nobody. Nobody. So 
Glory to God, what did he say? Then Peter said unto them, Repent, Repent. and be baptized. Be baptized. Every one of you. Everything I don't obey this house. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. Remission of sins means for the removing of sins. And what did he promise? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. When you're born of the water, he said, Water and water Spirit. And when spirit. you're born of the water, you repent of your sins and baptize in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. And now he said, Born of the Spirit. Of the spirit. Let's see what happens when you're born of the Spirit. I, in Acts chapter 2, begin at verse 4. I, and. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit. That's the Holy Ghost. When you're filled with the Holy Ghost, you're filled with God. And began to speak with other tongues. You speak with other tongues. As the Spirit gave them utterance. As the Spirit move on you. As the Spirit utter through you. That's right. Thank God. So that's when you have the new birth. That's when you're born again. You're baptized in the water in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And yeah, when you're born of the Spirit, you come through filled with the Spirit of God. That's right. Because that's what put you in the body. That's right. You ain't in the body of Christ. You're not in the church unless you have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Bible says in the 12th chapter of 1 Corinthians, you're baptized. For by one Spirit. Listen at this. 1 Corinthians 12 and verse 13. By one. By one Spirit. By one Holy Ghost. Are we all baptized? By into one, one God. God. That's right. We all are we all baptized at that into one body into one jet whether we be Jews or whether Gentiles. We, it doesn't matter your nationality, whether you're a Jew or a Gentile. Whether be, we be bond to free, whether you're bond to free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. All made to digest God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Digest one spirit. Know what you mean? How am I gonna drink one spirit? You got to drink the spirit because I'm serving you the spirit now. That's right. I'm serving you the spirit because I'm serving you scripture. Scripture. Amen. When I'm serving you scripture, I'm serving you the teachings of Jesus. That's right. Jesus said the word that I speak unto you, they are spirit, yeah, spirit. and they are life. So you come along and digest this now. That's right. Digest this now. Get rid of that rotten food you've been eating. Yeah. Bowed in head and raising hands and Father, Son, and Holy Ghost baptism. Well, didn't Jesus say baptize Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost? No. No. Jesus said baptize in the name, the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. That's right. And he didn't say what the preachers are saying today. No. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. No. In the name of the Holy Ghost. These three are one. Three what? That's right. Three one or one. That's right. I dare you to tell me Jesus is the second person in the Godhead. I make you find that lie. Amen. I dare you to tell me that the Holy Ghost is the third person. I dare you to tell me the Holy Ghost is a person at all. A person. A ghost is not a person. That's right. A ghost is a spirit. Spirit. Holy Ghost. Holy, ghost. Holy mean the character and the spirit mean the nature. That's so right. the nature of the spirit is holy. Holy. That's right. That's right. Repent and be baptized, every one of you. The name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. What is the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost? What is it? What is it? That's the way the Catholics baptize. So if all of, any of you come out the Catholic Church, you're baptized wrong. That's right. Any of you come out the Bap the Methodist Church, you're baptized wrong. That's right. Any of you that are Presbyterian, Lutheran, Jehovah Witness, non-denominational, any of that stuff, all of you baptized the same way. Same way. You misunderstand the Bible, you didn't get it right, That's and right. you're baptized wrong. That's right. That's right. What do everybody got to do? Then Peter said unto them, repent. And be baptized every one of you. Every one of you. I'm talking to the world now. That's right. Thank God we're preaching to the world. That's right. How much? Every one of you. I don't care how I kick you out. I don't care if you got some of, so many curves that when you step out, all traffic just stop. <laughs> and all of creation move in slow motion. Rain <laughs> slow down until the matrix is right in front of you. <laughs> Flowers open up and all birds come and bow at your feet. My Lord. Put their feathers over their eyes and just drop that. <laughs> <laughs> My Lord. That's some curves, brother. That's some curves. Anytime creation do all that, you are curvaceous. <laughs> That's right. Ah! Repent. Repent. And be baptized, every one of you. Go red be to the heavenly Father. Hallelujah. You got this to do, brother. That's right. Hey, Amen. If you don't do this, get out the pulpit, stay out of it, yeah. until you're born again like the word of God says it. That's right. Or else be old, disobedient and hard here mm -hmm. and Die and go to hell. That's right. What did the Holy Ghost say? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. That's why we got to open up. We got to open up the church in Cleveland. Got to. I mean, I have to do this. That's right. Amen. 
And this is what God has me done. It's not a viewers. This message that God gave me, God gave me this message. Yes, he gave me the same thing he gave the apostles. That's God right. did it. That's right. If God would not have done it, it's impossible for us to get the results that we're getting. That's right. In every city, every state, every town, every country, every village. Yes. Thank God we got a local telecast now dropping in Africa. Amen. Amen. And I received the letter. Amen. Three church organizations want to be baptized. And none, none of the church organizations know each other. So we fly in the ministers to another part of that country to baptize all three organizations that come to over 600 souls going down in water. Wonderful. Ah! Wonderful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And you wonder why I don't pay these little half inch by an eighth of an inch false prophet's mind? That's because right. they're yelling about the truth of God. That's right. Because they're not waking up nobody. Nobody's coming to Christ Amen. by their teaching. Amen. If you look at these men that are hollering about the truth of God, look at the work they have. Empty. Yeah. Empty. Crickets. That's right. Nothing. That's right. Not even a chicken go there. <laughs> Amen. Nothing. Amen. Bear in mind, a holy message guarantees holy results. You're not going to make me believe nothing else. That's true. The apostles had a holy message. That's right. And they got a holy results. Holy results. Preacher's been preaching 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Yeah. Amen. Having baptized no more than six people. Three people. Amen. God, glory to God. God made me an apostle. He made me one. That's right. Amen. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not shaking when I'm telling you this. No. I say, Hallelujah. Glory to God. God Almighty made me an apostle like He did the apostle Paul. That's right. Amen. Spoke to me. Hallelujah. And said, I have appeared unto thee for this purpose to make yes. thee a minister. And brother, He made me a preacher. Yes, He did. Amen. Every place we go, victory is ours before we get there. That's right. Before we get there. That's right. Amen. The moment I tell my secretary, all right, I'm going to this city, that city, that city, that city, that city. Now you don't just find a place to hold service. You got to find a place where I can have the people gather permanently. That's right. But you ain't never been there. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I know what's going to happen before we get there. <laughs> That's right. Why the Lord said all souls are mine. That's right. I can't help myself. Amen. Hallelujah. God ordained them. Hallelujah. I said God ordained Yes, it did. And the people can bear witness. People have never seen nothing like this since they've been born. That's right. Hundreds. Hundreds. But now it's turned into thousands. That's right. When you think of it alone, think of 2020 alone, when the pandemic hit. Yeah. Churches shut down. Truth of God, we didn't shut down. No. Amen. This message carried thousands and millions through the pandemic. That's right. Amen. While they were sitting home. That's right. Amen. The pandemic turned out to be a blessing. Amen. Many folk never heard it. Yeah. Amen. Never heard the message. Amen. Okay. Ran up on it while they was home relaxing from a false church break. <laughs> That's right. Ran up on it. That's right. Ran up on it. Hallelujah. And then sitting home, man, them and their second wife. I have thousands of letters. People wrote me and said, we never knew you lived. Mm. And then we saw you through the, uh, uh, during the pandemic. Mm. And then sitting home watching. You come up on YouTube preaching one God, preaching baptism. Think of it. Church is shut down. Wonderful. And because the cities didn't open up, my last area I traveled to in 2020 was Miami, Florida. That's right. right while the pandemic was going on. That's right. And after Miami, Florida, all the states shut down. We couldn't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. So we kept preaching yeah. out of Philadelphia every week. That's right. And do you know, even though the states were shut down, over 4,400 souls went down in the name of Jesus Christ throughout 2020. Wonderful. Yeah. Amen. Throughout 2020. Amen. Over 4,400, hallelujah, over 4,400 souls yes. went down in one year. One year. During the pandemic. That's right. And we're only in the seventh month That's right. of 2021. Eight, and we're almost months. up to 4,000 already. And we're in the seventh month. Eight months. I was 
made a preacher. The gospel that the Holy That's Ghost right. put in my mouth is very strong. Yeah. Amen. He told his apostles, I make you fishes of men. Fishes of men. Amen. He wants it to say, yeah, you're going to catch men. Catch men. Amen. So God made me a fisherman. Oh, yes. And uh, the line is going out into all earth. And the words into the end of the world. The gospel is dropping everywhere. Yes, it is. Amen. And God has given the truth of God results. I don't want to be in nothing where the preacher claim he's of God. And then two or three years go by. Nobody baptized. Nobody received the Holy Ghost. Nothing. 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 That's right. And you claim you're sent by God. What God? That's right. There's the God of heaven. And there's the God of this world. This world. Which one sent you? That's right. Which Amen. One? God had put his word in my mouth and made me a minister. Yes, he did. Amen. And the people are gravitating to it. That's right. Amen. So I want to say to Cleveland, Ohio, give us some time. God willing, we're going to be uh, uh, we're gonna be searching for a place. My staff will be searching for a place. St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, Kansas City, Missouri. Amen. We're still searching for a place. Amen. I want to say to Jackson, Mississippi, we were temporarily written a hotel ballroom, and I'm thankful for the hotel that let us use it. Amen. But I decided to pull the people out of the hotel. I didn't like the smell of the mold. I want to keep everybody healthy while we save them. And uh, so we decided we'd define a place, another place. So we found the place there in Jackson, Mississippi, and a uh, freestanding building. I liked the building, and I told my uh, uh, one of my secretaries, I said, I asked him, are they interested in selling it? She said, I asked him. I said, I asked him. Because I thought they interested in selling it. And they got back and said, well, yeah, yeah. If you, Pastor Jenny, want to buy it, we'll sell it. And then I never thought it would be it would be at a point where the work got so large because the folks that have been around me know building is my specialty. That's right. Building and architect and designing. And uh, usually I go to every building before we buy it. But things have gotten so large now I can't even get to every building. That's right. So I sent my church. Me with what I would like and what I want and what I don't want and what I would say no to. That's right. And uh, I said, ask them because you know most people don't want you to give their property an inspection until you give them an offer. Wherein I'd rather give you an inspection that way it will determine my offer. Right. Amen. So uh, she said, all right, I asked them. They got back to it. They said, well, the pastor didn't want to inspect him first and fine. And then, so we're going to send our inspector down there. And then uh, after we get our inspection report, we're going to give Jackson, Mississippi our offer. Hopefully, if they accept the offer, then we'll have Jackson, Mississippi on the map and out the way. Wonderful. Isn't that wonderful? Wonderful. Amen. Amen. So, Cleveland, uh, we want to put you on the map now. Amen. Put you on the map. Yes. We've been dropping it from the air by God's help. And now we want to shoot you from the ground. That's right. And Cincinnati... Amen. We want to do the same thing there. I want to get the Akron, Akron, uh, what is it called? Akron? Akron. Akron, Ohio, Ohio. And also, I want to get the, I believe it's called the Daytona. Daytona. Dayton. Dayton. Dayton, Ohio. I think of Daytona, the Indian, Daytona 500. <laughs> I want to get the uh, Dayton, Ohio. I just want to take the whole state and burn it down with Bible. That's right. Amen. If I don't know the name of your city, I want to get it anyway. That's right. Yeah? Right. I may not remember what city and all this little city here and city there, but I can say Ohio. Ohio. Yeah? Right. And I want to say to every preacher, every preacher that claimed to be apostolic or Pentecostal, whatever stuff you claim, you got to be holy. Oh, yes. Yeah? That's it. I don't care how long you've been pastoring, you got to line up. 100% with what the word of God say or you and your church going to go to hell, That's God right. knows. That's right. I don't care if they claim God call you or God sends you or God made you whatever. You're going to come back to the Bible or you're going to die and go to hell like anybody else. That's right. What did Peter say? Then Peter said unto them, repent. Are you listening? Amen. The Holy Ghost said. Repent. Amen. Repent and be baptized How much? every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, for the remission of sin. And what is the result? And ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. All right, Cleveland, anybody here want to get on God's side and be right and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet if you want it. You might as well escape hell. Stand on your feet if you want it. You might as well. 
Glory to God. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? All of you that are standing, go right to the back there. All of you that are standing, go right to the back. Amen. We thank God for my brother here. My brother here is a Baptist preacher. Amen. Baptist preacher came, wanted to be baptized in order. He said, I found out I was baptized wrong. Wonderful. Found out I was baptized wrong. Wonderful. Amen. What? Everybody. Amen. Now, viewers, viewers, I want you to see this. I want you to look at this. The camera is looking at viewers. This is what you got to do now. That's right. All you that are watching around the world, you got to join that group. That's right. Oh, Amen. Repent. Repent and be baptized. Are you looking? Are you seeing this, Robinson? Who can change this? Amen. This is the message. For the last days. That's right. Oh, we thank God this is it right here. This is it. No need to look around for nothing else. This is it right this here. That's right. God has proven that this is it right oh, here. Oh, yes. Oh, glory to God. Amen. God says, hallelujah. God says, my sheep will hear my voice. My voice. Thanks be unto God and the stranger. They will not follow. Right. If you have not been baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, you're not saved. That's right. After you repent of your sins and go down in the water in the name of Jesus Christ, you may as well stop going to that man-made fake church That's right. you've been going to. That's right. Because if you keep going, you're still going to go to hell, even with the right baptism. That's right. All right. We'll give me the correct time, brothers. All right, 154, we're going to let you go. We're going to break now. Amen, we're going to let you go. We're going to get ready to stand. We're going to have Brother William close us out with prayer. Come on back now. You come on back at 5 o'clock. Amen. Don't go sneak into that old devilish church you took a break from. Come on back at 5 o'clock. Don't go stay home and watch the game. Amen. You come on back at 5 o'clock and hear some more of the word of God. Amen, and uh, get right with God. All right, we're going, uh, Brother Williams, going to close this out in prayer. Father God, we do come to you once again in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you and praise you once again for another day, Father God. We thank you once again for the word of God that was preached and taught in our hearing. Bless us, O God, not only to be hearers, but bless us to be doers of thine word. Remember the souls that wanted to get baptized in war in the name of Jesus Christ. Strengthen and bless and help them and fill those souls with the Holy Ghost. Speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God gives utterance. My God, that don't have of thine spirit. Remember every one of us that's here this day. Help us, O God. Strengthen us. Bless us and protect us. Remember the man of God. Continue to strengthen him. Continue to bless him and help him and keep him. Father God, we do pray and ask all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.